Okay, guys, I'm just going to do a quick video on just some preferences in Fluent. Um, so one thing when you load into Fluent, it looks like this. It's in perspective mode, um, which isn't great. Um, it has the shadows on. It has some static shadows, and it also has this grid thing. And you don't want that, and you don't want the logo, and you don't want this um, axis thing there sometimes. So there's ways to turn this off. So if you go up here to preferences, so this is very important. So in your preferences, go to appearance and have the graphics view always set to orthographic. Come down here, always turn the logo off. Some, it's a bit glitch for me, so sometimes I have to turn it on and off to get rid of it. So that won't be in any of the pictures that I produce. And also as well, go over to graphics and make sure that uh, you have reflections and shadows turned off and also the ground plane turned off. And then they, when you'll boot in, like for me here, they won't be turned on. The other thing that's very important as well is your color maps. You notice they're always in exponential mode. You don't want that. You want them in uh, float mode uh, most of the time. So what I have for my uh, contour plots, I have it here. So I have it that uh, they are always in float mode and they'll always have a length of about 0 0.9. So you want big contours as well so that they'll take up the full size of the of the screen there on the left. Um, so make sure to have, have, have those two settings there. And you should be good with that. And you can turn in them preferences as well. You can turn that off. All right, another thing that's important too is uh, producing pictures. So you can just use like your snipping tool to take a picture there. But if you want to take a good high quality photo, um, you want to be putting in your own resolution here. So I have a resolution there. I use it about like 520, 5020, and it's about 2120 or something. That might be 580 that way. But that has a certain aspect ratio, like it's nearly, you know, 2 is to 5, or 2.5 is to 1. Um, so you want that, say, if you're making like, this will be a very high quality image when it's produced. Um, have it in PNG format. Have the white background on. And what you'll notice um because that aspect ratio you know in a report you'll be able to fit more images when you have that sort of an aspect ratio whereas if they were um, more height involved they don't fit that well on the page um so yeah so that's the way and then you just save them as a file then and that's that's the way to go when you're producing images um grand yep so that's that's all on preferences so because when you're taking pictures you want to be in orthographic mode and have these shadows turned off so you can focus on your post-processing Cool.